Hey guys, it's Mei Mei, and today I'm going to show you another cool feature that Cricut has given us recently that I think you're really going to like, okay? It is called community. Now, let me just show you where I find it the fastest. I just come right down here, and you see where it says from the community and recently added? I'm going to click view all, and I want to show you what happens when you do that. This takes you to the Cricut community um, folder or tab. You know how you can come in here and you can click on different items? It takes you right to the Cricut community. You can also find this whenever you're searching for things, like when you're searching images, you can find it right there. That's what you're looking for, the Cricut community. Now check this out. In the Cricut community, people who make projects that want to share with you their projects have just done that. And guess what? You can do the same. You might make projects and think, I want to share this so other people can make them, right? And this is where you do that. So let me show you. You can search inside the Cricut community for projects. So let's say you want to do a front door mat. I just saw one in there and I thought it'd be cool to do this. Look, so people who have made front door mats or done projects for the front door, they pop up. And you see here that these are created by different folks in the community. Now check this out. This person has made their name here. This person is just saying community member, so they haven't set up a profile, but I wanna show you how to set up your profile and even put your profile picture in. So let's go up here to the top where it says home, or to your hamburger menu, and I wanna click on that and go back where you can see when this drops down, this is your menu, that hamburger menu. See my picture? Cause I've added my picture and see where it says view profile. You'll click right there. And if you want to edit it, you're going to click Edit Profile. And here you can type in anything you want here. I even put in my blog and my YouTube channel in there. And then you can change your profile picture right here just by clicking on this and uploading your profile picture. Now, here's what's cool. If you click on my picture in the Community tab, you'll then see that you can come to My Shared Files. I don't have as many as I want. My goal is to get more up there for you guys. I hope to really soon. And you can see here that I follow two people see that? And I have five followers. Isn't that cool? Okay, so let's go back. Let's go home for a second, and I want to show you something else I think is really cool. So, if you happen to know that you want to do a project that, say, Melody Lane has made, I'm going to come right up here, and I'm going to type in Melody Lane into this little search bar that's right above, right inside my Cricut Community Info. See that? All right, and I'm going to say Search, and there's Melody's face, I'm gonna click on that, and look, all the projects that Melody shares are now right here categorized for me to get to. If I were not following Melody yet, I could come right here and underneath her, it would say follow. Let me just show you, so I'm gonna unfollow her for a second. Now, see how it says follow? If I click on that, I'm now following Melody, and then anything she posts, I can come in and get, or it will probably post somewhere to say, hey, Melody opened did a new project, you'll want to see it. I haven't seen that yet, but I'm sure it does. The other thing I want to show you is if you come into the community, so let me go to view all. So I'm here in the Cricut community again, and I'm going to go to the search projects. And let's say that I watched a video recently that maybe Lori Nunemaker put up. I can come up here and type in Lori and hit enter because I know how to spell her first name. Well, I spelled it wrong anyway because there's two R's in there. Sorry, Lori. I'm going to fix it right now. <laughs> so there's two R's in Lori's name. And look, all these projects pop up that Lori has made. So when I open this project or I click on it because I want to make it, then it shows me Lori right here. If I click on her name or if I click from her picture earlier, I can follow her right here. Isn't this cool? I think it's super neat. I love this community tab because even if I just want to go find something that I'm like, what are, what are people like me making? Let's see. And say I click on um, this image right here, which I totally would because I think this is super cute. I can totally just go make that right now and be thankful because it was shared by this community member. Also, before we move on, if you click this little star, so let's say I click that star to favorite this, look, this has now been added to my projects, I mean my favorites in the project category drop down menu. So I'll show you where that is. So let me just click on here to show you real quick. Right up here in the menu, okay, where it drops down, see where it says my favorites, anything that you star then comes right here for you to go back to later. How cool, right? Okay, so I think that's a cool feature. I wanted to share that with you, the whole um, profile, the whole member situation. I think it's super cool to be able to do this. And I wanna show you one more thing real quick. Let's say that somebody says, oh, I would love to see what projects you're making on Cricut and sharing with others. 
here's what you do. You click copy profile link. And when you do, that link is gonna be on your clipboard. You know how now you can go and share it anywhere else. So I copied it here and I can literally put it into a Facebook Messenger. I can put it into a text message, anything, and it'll take people right to my projects. Super cool, love this feature. I bet it gets even better over time. And I'm so grateful for all the new things that we're getting recently from Cricut. I think they're really cool. So don't miss another one of my Cricut Tips videos. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and go follow me on Cricut because I am gonna try to bring y'all some more projects. I think that's gonna be a goal for me for the next few months. I think it'd be cool to bring you some more cut projects. Um, also on YouTube, if you subscribe to me, be sure to click that bell notification so you'll get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I hope this one gives you a little fun new feature to play with. And until next time, bye now.